Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday. It's been like a week since I've talked to you and there's been so many updates. So I decided I wanted to create a patio, like a really pretty like Moroccan inspired patio. So that is what we've been working on, Scott, myself, and my mom. So um, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that because I thought that would be fun, like a whole like backyard renovation type thing. So be on the lookout for that. It'll probably be complete, I would say in like three weeks. So definitely gonna vlog the whole process of that. But today, we're still working on the patio and I have to go pick up nails from my grandfather. And what else? Our coffee machine, our Keurig broke. We had the mint Keurig for like two years and it broke. So ended up going to Target and getting a new one, a really pretty matte white one. But of course it tastes like plastic. For some reason our coffee tastes like plastic and I don't know why. We've run it through like a hundred times of just like trying to clear it out. Um, but it tastes really gross. So let me know if you've experienced that and if we just have like a defect or something. But yeah, let me show you the Keurig because it is really pretty, but I feel like I'm just drinking chemicals. So kind of a lose-lose. All right, so this is our beautiful new Keurig. It's matte white and I really like it. I just wish it didn't taste like plastic. So I might reach out to them and like ask them. This was the last white one that they had at Target. I don't know if we got a defect or if we're just doing it wrong. The filters in there, it just tastes like freaking plastic. And even when you like lift this up and you smell in here, it just smells like burnt plastic chemicals. It's like so terrible. I also did my nails over and they're like a really pretty purpley pink. Really, really like these. Um, but yeah kind of sad about this just because we want coffee that actually tastes good. I also ordered these sandals from Target. I thought they were so cute. You want to see? Look at how cute they are. So they're just like kind of like wicker. I don't even know what this is. Woven. I have no idea but they're so freaking pretty. So I got these. I got them in a size 8 and they like just fit. So definitely size up because I'm usually like a 7 or a 7.5 but I knew better. And then also, I got this really sweet package from Pixie. First of all, really pretty makeup bag. And they have a new collection. You can find Pixie at Target. Wanna see? So, and the inside is lavender and green, and this is the retinol and jasmine collection. So it says renew and rejuvenate skin smoothing products. So a lot of these do have retinol in it and jasmine, so here's an overview of everything I got. So freaking pretty. So thank you to Pixie for sending that over to me. All right, I need to change. I know I just filmed this intro in a really pretty top, but guess what, I'm in leggings. So I'm gonna change back into my sweatshirt, go pick up some nails. I'll show you guys a sneak peek of the patio because we are gonna work all day. Baby, come here. Okay, I just went and I got the nails from my grandfather. I'm thinking of surprising him with a golden doodle puppy. I don't know, but everyone loves puppies, right? And he's so lonely. He might love a puppy. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm thinking about it, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Except nobody wants a loud puppy, right? Do you want to see what grandma and and daddy's doing? Look, they're out here. Let's see. You gotta be careful. I'll show you guys a sneak peek of the patio. Looking good, babe. We're actually missing one board, so we have to go back and get one more. But that's okay. I will show you guys more of it in the other video that I do. But now, I'm gonna clean up, do some recycling, and yeah, maybe take Scott this one. just made me breakfast. This is on sourdough bread. It's just scrambled eggs with green onion. And I might venture out, and I might try and drag Scott with me because he just tried to drink his coffee and it's literal like toxic chemicals. So I might try and go to Starbucks, maybe Target. I don't know, I don't know. But it's much needed because we can't drink a cup of chemicals. All right, it is now, I think, 11.30 and we are venturing out for the day. We're gonna get coffee and 
I need to go to Target for some supplies and like maybe other things, but we're gonna be wearing our masks and being protected. I need a coffee so bad, my head is killing me. Yeah, we're gonna go to, we're gonna, what do you wanna go to Starbucks first? I need a coffee stat because you already told them about the machine that- I told them numerous times, yeah. It's like toxic chemicals, like every cup that comes out. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be resolved by the time you guys watch this video. Um, but we're taking off now. We've got our masks. We've got many masks. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. The only thing is I get makeup on them. Patriots one. It's a good one. All right, I'll talk to you once we're in Target. I want to get like dec like some maybe decor for the patio. Because it's really coming together. But this weekend's supposed to be so cold, so I don't know if... I'm gonna be able to do anything to it. Actually, I don't think I am because I'm getting a rug next week, my chairs, my bench. I'm getting a bar cart. Did you show a clip of the thing? Um, I showed him a glance because I'm doing a separate video, but it's very exciting. All right. We're in Target. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, just getting a couple things. There's music in Target now. Absolutely hate that. Hate it. We need a new pan. Babe, are you gonna get one? We need a new, like, is it a skillet we need? No, I just need a pan. You gonna get one? I don't know. There's only one left, basically. This one? No. They're kind of expensive. I feel like we need to get a set and we need to get mixing bowls because we still don't have mixing bowls. <gasps> Babe, this would match. The kitchen. No, I'm so sick of that color. No. I'm so sick of that color. Are you serious? I don't want anything. No. I'm not getting the pan that I cook <laughs> in in that color. Yes, you will. I think I'm gonna get these for the outside bar cart. They're so cute. What's that? Mixing bowls? Would you rather glass or plastic? Plastic. Are these plastic? No. I'd probably rather have that so we don't break it. I think I'm gonna get these, they're $2 each. We just got one of these last week and it's almost empty. It's actually not a bad price, it's $7.99 for this entire thing. We got the Monster, cause Monster's so freaking good. Peanut butter Monster, babe. Yum. You'd like this one. I'm in the home decor. I really wanna get this, I think it's so cute for outdoors. But this one's cracked, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's the last one. But there's so much that I want for like the outdoor patio area. Just everything is so cute. I have a citronella candle in my basket right now. I would definitely get this if it wasn't cracked. Because I like this a lot. They have this one too. This is what I have in my basket. I'm gonna have to eventually get some string lights. Oh, really? I think these are pretty. <laughs> these are cute, okay. but they're small. Okay. Find something. Lacroix. Ended up purchasing two of these chairs. Okay. I got it online, right. but it was 350 for two chairs with the cushions mm -hmm. and then this thing. This is kind of cute, isn't it? So it's gonna be a whole set. I did want this, but I read kind of like cheap reviews on it, so didn't get that. I got like a picnic table type thing instead. <laughs> this could be cute outdoors. $25 though, I don't know. Look at how freaking cute this little ice cream truck is. Oh my goodness, I can't even stand the cuteness. Oh, if I had a little baby. Ooh. This whole section, I'm literally obsessed. I've missed Target so much. Look at how cute this is. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then this one. Oh. And this, what would you even put in this? And then this one. How cool. 
we are back home. I ended up getting a Starbucks. I got a grande vanilla cream cold brew with sweet cold foam. So good, the line was ridiculously busy, but that's okay. Let me show you everything that I got at Target. I also got some things at Anthropology for Mother's Day. So starting down here, I got four of these cups because these are gonna be for the patio. I ended up getting a bar cart, so I think this would be so cute on it for the summer. I also got this. Babe, is it Hearth and Hand? Yep. Hearth and Hand candle. This is um, citronella, so it does go outside. And we do have mosquitoes really, really bad here. None yet, but I know in the summer it's going to be really bad. So I just got one of these. They did have smaller ones online, but they're sold out. I really wanted the pack of four small ones. But for now, I just got this medium-sized one. I also got binoculars because I've been wanting binoculars for a really long time. So we live in the boonies. So it's cool to see like the nature and like deer and everything. So got those. This is a men's sweatshirt, but this is like the most comfortable material ever. This is the brand All In Motion and it is so soft. And this was on clearance for 14, usually 28. So I got this for myself. So I got that, I really like this color. It's like one of my favorites. I got supplies. And then up here, this is my mom's gift for Mother's Day. So I ended up getting this from Anthropology, Green Housekeeping Book, Recipes and Solutions for a Cleaner, More Sustainable Home. I thought this looked like her. So I got that. I got these from Anthropology, I think, or Urban Outfitters. No, Anthropology. This is Perspective, so to restore calm and clarity. They're like cards. I don't know. Oh my goodness, you never play with that, Teddy. He always does this. You never play with that. Get it. Teddy wants attention. So I got those, and then I ended up getting this. This luckily, okay. We're gonna do that. Okay. Luckily this came in the mail today, but this is dried eucalyptus bouquet. It smells really nice, so I got that. I thought it was different than like a traditional flower bouquet. And then I got two pairs of pajamas from Target from the Stars Above collection. So I got these, very silky and soft. They have like the rose gold at the bottom. And then these. I thought they were so cute. So that will be her Mother's Day gift. And now I'm gonna put everything away. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll show you guys a sneak peek of the patio actually. Okay, this is the sneak peek that I wanted to show you guys. I don't wanna show you like the whole reveal of me doing the entire thing over. Um, I'm gonna save that for a different video. So this is the last time you guys will see it looking like this. So we're just missing one board. Uh, we have to go back to Lowe's or Home Depot and get um, a board for here, obviously. And then the rest is pretty much done. I do want to stain it eventually, but my mom said we can't stain it for an entire month because it's pressure treated. So there's a lot of water that's like soaked inside. So we do have to wait. Um, right now it's hold like there's stones around it, like underneath. So everything is even. Um, but let me know any ideas you have, not for the center, cause I already have an, a whole plan for what I'm doing in the middle. I already ordered so much and it's gonna look so pretty, I hope. But let me know what you have in mind for around it. So this whole area, whew, this is looking rough, but this whole area, my parents don't love grass, so I don't think we're gonna do grass. I wish we could, because I think that would look really pretty. But maybe rocks or something, um, big posts. I want to do like string lights eventually, but just focusing on the outer skirts of this. Let me know what you have, any ideas, like what you think. But this is what it looks like. It is 8 by 12, so it's decently sized. No, this furniture is not staying on here. This is my mom's. She just put it on here for now just to like look at it. But yeah. We're gonna cut down a couple more trees in the middle so we can see the water a little bit better when we're sitting. I'm out of breath for some reason. Let me sit down and drink a couple sips of my coffee. Also, I wanted to show you guys my hair. As you can see, probably my roots are like a little bit lighter. This stuff does actually work. This is the Sun Bum Hair Lightener for blonde hair. 
it does work but it does turn your hair a little bit warm so right now my roots are on the warmer side um, so I'm going to try and tone it with like purple shampoo if you have any other recommendations please leave them down below because I definitely don't want orange roots but it did lighten it's just not the correct tone so definitely need it to be a lot cooler but if you are looking for something literally this worked in like two or three days of just me going out in the sun it lightened up like crazy you can tell because this is where I sprayed it but underneath over here see how much darker that is like it's I don't know it's definitely different I didn't put it over here but maybe I should do a ponytail and put the lightener all over I'm not putting the lightener on my blonde parts though just my roots so I'm literally out of breath. It's going to rain in a little bit. That is what the sky is looking like. I think it's going to storm tonight. It's going to be a cold weekend. So just have to wait on all of my packages to design this patio. My goodness. What do you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want to show them what we have? This is what we have. So we got a present in the mail from my friend Lindsay. It's actually from Mummy. I'm so sorry that I just tricked you like that, but we can open it together. So this is from Lush. And Lynn's sent over. Sorry, baby. Lynn's it. Do you like it? It's Mummy's. It's Mummy's. Lynn sent over this. So it's Sleepy Shower Gel. This is my favorite. It smells like lavender and vanilla. It smells so good. And then a little lotion. So really happy to have this. I already have like a full size of this, but let me tell you, I use it every single night and it smells so good. And I did not have a shower gel, so I'm gonna put this in my shower actually today and use this. And also I'm going to put purple shampoo in my roots and see if that works and tones my hair. I think I need to leave it on for more than like 10 minutes. But like I said, let me know down below because I don't want orange roots. I think I'm gonna end my vlog now. Definitely need to pick up everything. Like I said, it got pretty messy in here. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the day. We're making shepherd's pie for dinner tonight, Friday night. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.